Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University. And Lenore, issue number one, I believe this is volume three though. Um, I had an ex-girlfriend who introduced me to Lenore, you know, back when she wasn't my ex. And it was just like, I don't know if it was a full web, web comic, but it was some web strips, whatever. I think it was a web comic. Anyway, it was fun, <laughs> surprisingly. I, I didn't like get totally into it, but it was fun reading a couple of the strips that she'd show me. Um, this is basically just that. It's a fairly continuous story all the way through. I'm not going to complain about anything in this book, man. This was pretty damn good. Uh, let's get talking about who made this book. Then we'll talk a little bit about the book itself. Uh, Lenore, the cute little dead girl written, drawn and colored by Roman Dirge, uh, by, uh, coming out of Titan comics. So yeah, that's it, right? Yep. That's it. So who cares? Um, <laughs> we get, we get the so-called death of flashback squirrel in this. We get, uh, the return. We get <laughs> both of his freaking exes, just talking about exes, uh, and both of their kids, all of their kids. <laughs> no way. This uh, I'm his wife. These are my, these are his kids. No, I'm his wife. These are his kids. And they're slapping each other. Like, what the hell? What a great way to start off the comic book. This feels almost like a Deadpool comic book, except it's dead girl. She, she imagines eating her friend and she's going through withdrawal symptoms, like regret and everything like that. Meanwhile, she hasn't actually done it yet. <laughs> because let's face it, that's what she does. And then a savior shows up. And it's kind of like a double entendre for that because it saves her in more than one way. Well, not its intended purpose, at least. Look, man, all I'm saying is this is a freaky book. And inside there's a poster. One of them is this poster, and then there's another one also. And, um, yeah, I don't take my stuff out of the freaking... Here's the other one. I don't take pages out of my comic books, bruh. But yeah, I get it. I get it. If, if you know, you're not big into co uh, collecting the comic books, you're more into just collecting the stories, yeah, by all means. Because I don't know if they're actually going to be making Lenore posters. We'll see. Anyway, like, they're still doing Minecraft posters, but they're probably not going to do one of these. Anyway, if you're not into the character, you're probably not going to get the comic book. It's cool. I get it. It's something that you flip through if you see it at somebody's house. Make a friend who knows Lenore. Or try and find that old stuff on the internet. Either way, this is this has a pre-built-in audience as it stands. I really genuinely hope that the people who liked Lenore back in the day found out about this book. Maybe you're finding out this book has come into existence because of me. It took four years for this book to come out. And from this point on, apparently, Dirge is going to be doing um, all these stories on the computer so that it's not so hard, it's not so long to get another book out. Anyway, guys, um, yeah, that's really it. You're going to get it if you know it. You probably won't if you don't. And then there'll be a couple outliers. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.